So the idea is we have some dynamic data that we want to download. This is a NASA firm's database. They detect fires from satellite imaging and they publish every few hours the latest state of fires. And if you want to say every morning or every few hours, I want to create a map of fires. Now that means I need to download this data from the firm's website. I want to filter it, style it, and then create a map out of this. So you can create a model that does all of this. So I'll show you the model first. So here, this is the model. We download the file first. So this is the location, which it updates with new file every few hours. So whenever we run this, it's going to fetch the latest file. We'll download the file. We'll run extract by location saying this, we have falling points falling outside the region. We'll you know remove the points outside the region. Set layer style. We have a file which has a style. So we can first say, configure the QGIS style and then save the style as a QML file, which QGIS allows you to export the data style as this QML file. So we have that pre-configured and we can go to the QML file. And finally, this is the key, export print layout as image. So we have already created a layout. So in my project, you can see I have a print layout that looks like this. I have a layout, I have a title saying the latest fires. This is the map that I want to render. And I have a title here saying the map generated now. So now is the expression, which says get the current date. And then we can say, you know, we'll have the latest date timestamp available on the map. And we'll just render this map template. Here, when we export the print layout, we have the option here to say what layers you want to render. So we just say, we have want to render this extract by location output. So that means this is the beauty of model that this layer doesn't exist yet. Whatever we downloaded, processed, and styled, use that layer in my map template along with the base layer. So this is a static layer that is part of our data set, but use this other layer, which we just created as an intermediate output. So let's just say it's my downloads folder. I have no files here. Let me just run this. We'll say this is my data. My QML file is here. And then I'm going to just save this as the output, saying that my map. And it's going to create a PNG file. So it's now downloading this data, extracting this, and rendering the output here. And once it's done, you can see this is my map.png that was created, just rendered with the new data. And you can see it's as current timestamp and the layer that was downloaded and clipped to the version. So now I can just do this. I don't have to manually do this. I can kind of run my model, fetch the data, and render a map template. So this one is the approach where the only thing you can configure is you can use expressions as labels and other things to, con to change things, but you can just change the layers that get rendered. If you want, for example, you have a more complicated map and you say, count this number of points within this and add a label with that. So all of the, if you want more control, you can write your own custom processing algorithm using PyQGIS, and that is also linked here. So if you, this other blog post I have, which shows you having more control, but this one, you can just go through step-by-step step, and I can explain all of this step-by-step. Step. We have the data and how to export the file, how to create a print layout and all of that.